So the next part of our project involved the analyze phase. Now, this would have been familiar as well from Lorcan's slide. Um, we looked at standard work and optimized roles. So standard work optimizes the work across multiple test methods and the improves consistency and productivity. Well, I'll give an example of what we did ourselves. We looked at combined roles in the lab itself. And where there were combined roles, we looked at moving the equipment that were used in those roles closer together. This reduced travel time and it allowed the analysts to better organize themselves when it came to work. So for example, for one particular product, we would do disintegration, friability, and hardness testing on a particular tablet. But in one case, some of that equipment were located in different labs. Now, this would have been due to, I suppose, different teams being set up throughout the years or new labs being set up. The equipment is, would be the last thing you think of. So the equipment would have been left in its original location. So we decided then to, when we combined roles, we moved the disintegration apparatus, the friability machine, and the hardness tester into the one bench. And that allowed one analyst to do those three particular tests in the same location at the same time. So it improved their efficiency and it reduced the travel time of the analyst as well. It's fairly obvious when you think about it, but it's <laughs> just when you go to analyze these things, you just see it yourself. As part of the optimized roles then as well, we designed uh, role cards around each test or group of tests. These were for dissolution as or any non-test tasks themselves are included on the roll card too. So they were designed by the analysts and tested by the analysts themselves and redefined as required. We took a cross-section of analysts between the least experienced and the most experienced analysts just to get to ensure the roll cards would suit everybody. There's a standard list of items to be completed on each roll card by a particular time. So this example here, we have a, a, an assay run for one analyst to do six in-process samples or one composite assay in content uniformity. And at particular stages of the day, they should have different targets to complete. So by their first break target, they'll have D steps complete, and the same with the second stage as well. So by the end of the working day, they should have all their work complete. And then we've also incorporated a time elastic task. In this particular row card, there's 15 minutes available at the end of the working day for this particular analyst. And we can assign non-test tasks to that analyst. So a non-test task may involve calibrating a balance or emptying sample presses or general housekeeping. But these roll cards ensure that all analysts perform a similar workload. It also lets them, allows them to follow a set procedure in their tests to maximize their time as well during the day, and it makes them more efficient as well.